Hello everyone. Uh, yes, I got my old camcorder today. Uh, we're not going to film uh, anything today, but um, I'm going to explain how to use a camera tool in Anime CC. The concept of camera tool in Anime CC is the exactly the same way and the same concept of traditional camera like this. So we've been using the, a lot of motion twin and shape twin so far to animate your photo, your object, or the any any anything uh, in Anime CC. Uh, unlike this, the twinning, the camera tool, uh, we're not going to move your object or your photo. Uh, we're moving, we're animating this camera's viewfinder. So today we're going to make really simple and easy video clip for Instagram. Something like this. We're not going to animate your photo. We're going to move your camera. Zooming in, zooming out, panning, rotating, just like this by using camera tool uh, in Anime CC. There are several dimensions for Instagram video, uh, but we're going to use the simplest one, 600 by 600 pixel uh, square uh, shape. So let's get started. So first, please download this image from the link I provided in my description. Um, thank you, uh, Trash Hand, for offering this photo, beautiful photo, uh, for use. Uh, this is the um, kind of aerial view of a big city. So please download it and open it uh, in Photoshop. So I download it and I open in my Photoshop, just like this. Okay, so let me check the image size first. Uh, we're targeting uh, the movie size is 600 by 600 pixel. And this image size is way bigger than that, which is good. So we have enough space to move our camera from here to there, zooming in, zooming out, and rotating. So we have enough space, which is good. Okay, so I'm going to use it just as it is. And then uh, my kind of basic plan is I want to start from like this and then zooming in uh, to the ground level and then moving and then I want to end up somewhere maybe here with some text so what I'm gonna do is I want to have a text on this uh, the top of this building so let me use my um, uh, type tool I'm gonna just type a really simple one uh, city life city life and then let me apply some hourglow in black. That's good. Yeah, any effect is okay. And then um, by using edit and transform or free transform tool, let me rotate it. I'm going to keep the kind of same angle of this building uh, like this. It's a little bit big. Let me make it a little smaller, the type size. Maybe 60. It's good. So like this here. Let me zoom out. See that? The city life. My text is here. <clears throat> so I'm going to start from here and ending somewhere here. Okay. Let me save this file <clears throat> as a JPEG file. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Save as, uh, as a JPEG. I'm going to save on my desktop a new folder, uh, camera. Okay. Now let's go to our Anime CC. We're going to create a new file. Uh, it's new movie, 600 pixel by 600 pixel. That's the hour, the targeting size. And I'm not going to change anything. 24, platform type, HTML5, canvas, everything is okay. And create. Okay, so uh, here we are. So first, please import <coughs> uh, that big city image to stage directly. So we're going to use only one image. 
which is on my desktop camera folder and this is the file choose it and open you the alignment tool the panel uh, check the align to stage if you do not see this this is under windows and uh, align here okay and check the align center horizontal center and vertical center and let me zoom out let me show you several kind of uh, very useful keycaps. Um, <clears throat> hold down the spacebar and command key, you can zoom in. Spacebar, command option, you can zoom out. Spacebar, you can move around. For example, like this. So it's a kind of a good time saver. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to start from here. Let me move up just a little bit. Somewhere here, so it's a kind of a, you see that uh, the border of your stage that's the 600 by 600 pixel. Okay, so that's my uh, viewing viewfinder of my camera. First, I'm going to use maybe just a one second, I'll create a one second animation first. So, um, as I told you, we're not going to move your photo, your object at all. Okay, so let me create just a one second duration. Uh, highlight the uh, one second mark on frame 24 and insert the keyframe. That's it. Now, in your toolbox on the very bottom, almost on the very bottom, there's a camera tool. Click on it. Now you can see that it creates, anyway, CC creates the other new layer for your camera. So that means uh, once you create the camera layer, it will control your entire movie. If you have multiple layers, it will control everything. So it just changes the, um, your point of view by moving your camera. Okay, so first, <clears throat> the first keyframe, highlight the first keyframe of your camera tool and go to insert menu like we did and create classic twin. On one second mark, highlight it and insert the keyframe. Okay, so nothing's changing. What I'm gonna do is on my first and my second keyframe on my camera tool. Once you choose the your camera tool, you see that there's a kind of a slide bar on the bottom, and there are two options rotating camera and zooming in and out your camera okay so on my first keyframe I want to zoom out just like that so I didn't move my object my photo I just moved my camera kind of zooming out from the ground level to the very top of the sky. So what happened is, this happens. Isn't it cool? At the same time, on my second keyframe, I want to rotate my camera like this way. A little more. So this happens. Okay. So anything out of this border is invisible. We only view, we only see the images inside this viewfinder of your camera tool. Now, let me make that one more second animation. On two second mark, uh, let me hold on both by holding down the shift key. I'm selecting the, uh, these two keyframes, two frames on two second mark. Let me insert the keyframe. Okay, so I just kept my uh, original images here. On my second keyframe, I mean, this is a third keyframe on my the camera layer, I'm going to move the images to the right. So um, 
you will notice that uh, if you want to move your camera to the right or left and your image is moving in opposite direction because we're moving the camera you're not moving the object your photo so I'm gonna stop somewhere here at the same time I want to zoom in a little bit more like this maybe even more okay so see what happens so far let me fit to page by double clicking this hand tool hit the return does it look like some kind of a movie title okay then I want to add in one more the three second mark by holding down the shift key select both frames on three second mark and insert the keyframe on top one let me choose a camera tool again I want to move it to somewhere here and let me zoom out do you see the other text we created and also I want to rotate it until I get the correct angle so um, yep looks good so I want to stop somewhere here so let's see what happens isn't it cool okay uh, but I want to give some little more kind of dramatic uh, kind of a movement so everything happens all the animation my camera moving speed is the same uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the uh, kind of ease option so I'll highlight the first keyframe of your camera in your properties panel there is the ease option here and effect classic is uh, there's the um, uh, the value you can enter I'm going to enter minus 100 so um, negative 100 so see what happens so it's getting faster and on my second keyframe this time positive 100 And the third one, negative 100 again, minus 100. So now see what happens. Slow and faster. Okay. And then, uh, by the nature of the Instagram video, it will keep looping. So what I'm going to do is, anyway, this video will... Uh, replay and again and again on your Instagram so uh, I want to allow to have maybe three seconds or four seconds uh, kind of uh, after this so people can view it first and then goes back to the very beginning so um, we are on the three second mark so let me add maybe um, uh, four more seconds so um, so this is a three second mark so uh, let me add two more keyframes on sec uh, seven seconds so we're adding four more seconds okay okay so before we save it we're gonna test it uh, under controls menu and test the movie in browser One, two, three, four. And we're playing. Okay. Okay, so it looks good. So now go back to Anime CC. First, let me save it. Save this file. 
uh, in my folder as uh, the city view city view dot fla uh, in my desktop and camera folder okay now I need to export as dot mp4 file so go to file export export to video and media so this is something that we did last time I explained last time export and video media okay 600 by 600 entire movie H264 and CD view goes to my desktop <clears throat> camera folder and CD view save it check this box like we did and export something's processing okay so let me check my desktop <clears throat> Camera view, city view. Okay, and four seconds more. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, uh, <clears throat> I will show you how to upload this to your Instagram. Um, first, maybe we can upload it from the Instagram on your computer directly, um, but I'm going to uh, export this file to my my smartphone and then um, I'm going to upload it from my phone directly to my Instagram so um, let me do this I love the um, <clears throat> airdrop <laughs> so uh, share with airdrop okay this is my phone okay I will accept done okay and let me connect my phone and then I will show you how to do it okay so this is my phone I want to check if the video is in my album correctly so let me open my photo album yep it's here it's good okay now let me go back uh, let me open my Instagram okay and add new video which is this okay looks good next I'm not gonna change anything next and let me write a caption um, <clears throat> excuse me. a real view of city and share So it's on my Instagram. Waiting four seconds and replaying. Okay, that's it. So I hope you enjoyed it, and then uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.